<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. I'm going to give double honor to the apostles of great mercy, not do real well. Salutations to the men of the whole flan, since they elect. This is Mark Zah from Trend.com. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. And the name of this lesson would be How will two thirds be saved? All right, how will two thirds of our people of the nation of Israel be saved? All right. Because according to the scriptures, all Israel, you know, gonna be in the kingdom, but not all gonna enter into the gates of the city at the same time. With the scripture in Revelation, it says, says "Blessed are they that make it in the first resurrection." All right. So the first resurrection would be the elect and the one third being delivered from the destruction to come and making it in the kingdom. All right, but according to two thirds they will be destroyed so how would they be in the kingdom so, right so we go into the scriptures to prove that it says romans chapter 11 verse 25 for i would not brethren that ye should be ignorant of this mystery lest that ye should be wise in your own conceits that blindness in part is happened to israel until the fullness of the gentiles becoming or gentiles here talking about the israelite foreigners all right it says and so all israel shall be saved as it is written there shall come out of zion a deliverer who shall turn away on godliness from jacob and so all israel shall be saved so all israel have to be saved the scripture said the lord will yet choose israel and have mercy on jacob all right but first he have to purge the land all right he have to purge the land of all the wicked all right <clears throat> This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and the third shall be left therein. Right? The third is the one third, making up the elect and the remainder of Israel that the Lord comes to deliver. The two thirds of Israel, you know, these average niggers, I would say, niggers because that is how they act niggers is, is no longer a people but a mentality anybody could be a nigger all right because that is how they act lord you have bashed me a shy coming to destroy them what he said he said they that will not have me rule over them bring hither that time may slid and slid them before me so the lord coming to destroy two thirds of our people all right verse 9 it says and i will bring the third part through the fire and i will refine them as silver is refined and i will try them as gold is tried and they shall call on my name and i will hear them and i will say it is my people and they shall say yahaba shmi ashai is my god all right and two thirds of all people they deserve to be destroyed because they're wicked as hell all right as the scripture said in um <clears throat> in second Ezra, this iniquity shall not purge from you till you die all right this iniquity will not be purged from you till you die so some some people sin let me see if i could find that real quick this is um see if i could find it real quick um boom 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 Just bear it my second. Just bear it my one second. See if I could find this. I know it's in Timothy. <clears throat> ah, see, you're looking exactly for it, but telling it not here. This is um second first Timothy chapter five, verse twenty-four. Some men's sins are open beforehand and going before to judgment, and some men they follow after. All right so and, and verse 25 it says likewise also the good works 
the good works of some are manifest the good works of some are manifest beforehand and they that are otherwise cannot be hid all right so like two thirds they they sin some of them you know they die before the time of judgment and some they're gonna die you know during the time of judgment but their sin being made manifest all right so the lord manifesting two thirds because the scripture said they will leave their name for a shame unto my chosen all right so the lord gonna destroy two thirds of israel because of their sins all right and he said this iniquity shall not be purged from you lest he die so the iniquity gonna be purged but they have to die some men they they sins will be forgiven the scripture said blessed is the man who the lord had not imputed iniquity all right some men's sins gonna be forgiven and some men the only how their sins gonna be forgiven is by the shedding of their blood and that is what gonna happen to two thirds but after the shedding of their blood the lord yahaba shmi and shah will have mercy on them for he said he will have mercy upon the house of jacob all right saving some israelites and not and and totally getting rid of the rest that is not having mercy on jacob you're actually reducing jacob because he did give a promise saying that israel will be as the sand of the sea now if you kill off you know more than half of the population of israel that is actually taken away from that promise and the lord is a man of his word all right this is amos chapter 9 verse 10 it says all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us so two-thirds of israel they have to die they have to die so that their iniquity could be purged all right they have to die because they're the ones that forsook the lord all right they're the ones that said crucify him and let his blood be upon us and our children all right so they they rejected the mercies of yahaba shimeon shai but in the kingdom, in the kingdom, they will come back as our children. All right? And we're going to improve that real quick. In the kingdom, they're going to come back as our children. Be that we part of the whole free elect. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 49, verse 18. It says, Lift up thine eyes round about, and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to see. As I live, saith Yahaba Shemel Shai, thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all as an ornament, and bind them on thee as a bride do it. For thy wastes and thy desolate places, and the land of this, thy destruction, shall even now be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants, and they that swallow thee up shall be far away. So now this is the kingdom. The Lord saying that the land gonna be too narrow because of, of the people. Then the scripture say increase the borders of thy tents. All right? You're going to have so much Israelites that we ain't going to be able to dwell. All of us wouldn't be able to dwell in the land. We're going to be spread out. Now, if the Lord kills two-thirds of our people, how would one-third of the population be too much to dwell in the kingdom of Israel? Because we're going to be having lots and lots of children. What the Lord said, the Lord said, you that forsake children, you shall gain a hundredfold. All right? We're going to get a lot of children in the kingdom. We're going to have thousands of wives. So we're going to have thousands of children, even ten thousands of children. All right? And that is how the two-thirds are going to come back. The two-thirds of Israel, they're going to come back through our loins. They're going to come back as our children. All right? You might lose a parent, a grandparent, and in the kingdom, they might be your son. They might be your daughter. All right? That is how the Lord is going to have mercy on Jacob by bringing back the two-thirds to the seed of the elect and in that way then they would be righteous because they're gonna come through a righteous seed because the lord when the lord takes up the elect in the chariot their body's gonna be changed and they're gonna be changed into that glorious body that free from sin they're not gonna be able to sin you're gonna put them in that righteous body so now this righteous body gonna produce righteous seed so the the, the two thirds that perish before they're gonna come in the second resurrection which is in the kingdom when Israel be established. All right. <clears throat> Going on, it says, verse 20, and it says, it shall be far away. Then the scripture said in Luke 16, um, there was a, a, big, a big gulf fixed between Lazarus and the rich man. Even Balaam said that he said, I shall behold him, but not near. All right. Shall seem afar off. 
all right so this this talking about in the kingdom it says and the children which thou shall have which thou shall have pursuing to jeremiah 16 he told jeremiah don't have any children so how would jeremiah have children jeremiah would have children in the kingdom all right it says the children which thou shall have after thou has lost another because when the scripture said we not how knowest thou O man if thou shalt save thy wife so we don't know if we will save our wife Ezekiel chapter, I um, believe it's chapter 14, it says what? It says, though these three men were in it, they shall save neither son nor daughter, but their own self. So we're not sure if we're going to be able to save our children. Some of our children, they're wicked as hell. All right? Some of our children, they're wicked as hell. So we're not sure we're going to be able to, our children are going to be saved. All right? So it says, and the children thou shalt have, after thou hast lost another, shall say again, shall say again in thine ears the place is too straight for me give me give place to me that i may dwell all right and thou then thou shall say in thy heart who had begotten me these because when you're in the kingdom man you realize all the blessings that you got you know you're gonna be like you know where all these children come out from you understand seeing i have lost my children and i'm desolate a captive and removing to and fro who had brought up these behold i was left alone these where had they been all right because the lord gonna bless you with children in the kingdom so the children they ain't just gonna come from tenure they're gonna be the seed of the elect because we, we, we they're gonna come back by the process of reincarnation and that is what been happening from since the world began all right we've been here before we just keep recycling just changing bodies all right we we born we live we die we go to the spirit realm and we sit the flower and we come back again. It's the same thing when it happened in the kingdom. The two thirds that die on this side, they're going to come back through the seed of the elect. All right? They're going to come back through the seed of the elect. All right? The final precept here. This is Isaiah chapter 60, verse 21. It says, thy people shall all be righteous. All right? Even the two thirds going to be righteous because they're going to come through the righteous seed. And they shall inherit, inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. Now, if the Lord only saving one third of Israel, and according to some people, there ain't going to be no sex in the kingdom, if the Lord only saving one third of Israel, how then could a strong one, a little one become a strong nation? To become a nation, you have to be procreating. Didn't the Lord say in the beginning, go and fill the earth? We're going to fill the earth again. And that is how all Israel shall be saved because the Lord going to have mercy on Jacob. Didn't the Lord have mercy on Benjamin in Judges chapter 20 when he allowed Benjamin to repopulate from 600 back to their nation after the Lord destroyed them? For their acts. Alright. How, ben how was Benjamin built back? Benjamin was built back through sex. Through procreation. And it's the same way all Israel going to be built back. By having children in the kingdom. And the children that they're going to have. Are the two thirds that were destroyed. Alright. So two, two, two thirds of Israel. They're going to be in the kingdom too. But they ain't going to no longer be two thirds. They're going to be seeds of the righteous. Alright. So with that the hope was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahaba Hashem Yahushai. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy. I do rule well. Salutations to the men of the whole land. Since I elect, this is Makazar from Trin.com saying Shalawam and stay strong.